Good morning everyone and welcome to Nusa Penida. This is the island that we've been waiting for. This is the real paradise of Bali. Today we woke up quite early and uh, had to take a one hour trip to the Pantai Sanur which is the place where we bought the boat to go to Nusa Penida. Yeah, the boat took about one hour. One thing to note is if you're taking the boat to Nusa Penida, try to make sure that you don't sit in the back of the boat because it's quite dangerous. Just now we hit a log and then the water just came right through. The people at the back, they were completely drenched. Some of their mobile phones and all were completely destroyed. Destroyed, I think. So that's something that you need to be aware of. Yeah, and we're gonna go towards the Atul Beach and Teletubbies Hill. So see you there. Yep. Takut banget. Uh, we're going down the steps now to Ai Guyangan. This is pretty steep. There's about 700 steps, guys. Just be prepared because you might need to bring like sport shoes or something. I really respect the Balinese devotion to their religion because do you know there's actually a temple at the bottom of all these 700 steps? And some of them actually go to this temple every day. Uh, that takes a lot of courage and a lot of faith to do it. Yeah, you have to hold on tight when you're here. Look at how steep the staircase is. And, but the view is so worth it. Okay, I gotta hurry. and pounding and when it hits the rocks it sounds like a bomb like boom that looks so serene and so quiet and that's the definition of enjoyment over there Whoa. oh by the way uh, that's the bathing area and you have the huge waves next to you this is so fun really cannot describe this place, it's so majestic, so beautiful. Definitely not for the faint-hearted, because to get here is actually quite a challenge and my feet is completely numb right now from the fear that I had just now. Yeah, but it's very very worth it. Okay, going back up, up will be a lot easier than down, definitely. Final glimpse of this amazing spot, ta-da! One hour later. Don't look down on 700 steps. The climb up was quite difficult as well. Oh, and we oh, made it! Oh, okay, Pa, thank you. Hey, hey. Yo. hey Mama, say, say something. Huh? Say something. Hello. Hello. I'm vocation. Vocation? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next stop. Uh, guys, we are at the second spot. This is Teletubbies Hill. Looks like the hills from Teletubbies. Okay. That's uh, Tinky Winky Dipsy. Where's Lala? Lala is there. Lala! And I'm Po. Okay, so the land here is pretty dry, which is why there's no trees all over on that Teletubbies hill. Uh, that's why the entire place looks quite grassy and not filled with trees. I guess that's what you call that. And yeah, that's Teletubbies hill. Ta-da! Teletubbies hill is just okay, so we just stopped by for a while and now to the next stop! Oh my god guys, so steep. The roads here are really confusing, so if you're... Whoa, look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Woo. Oh my god, so excited. This is the highlight of Nusa Penida. Ta-da! Check out how blue the water is and how clear. You can really see all the way to the bottom of the ocean. So beautiful, so blue. The video probably doesn't do this place justice. 
So come here and see for yourself, man. What? The spark can't really handle like really rough wind like today. So I hope the video is not too shaky because it only has two axis gimbal. So when the wind comes from the side, it kind of like shakes a bit. It was quite nerve wracking to fly there because I lost my drone for a while and I was quite worried. And yay, I got it back. Okay, gonna go down now towards that beach over there. All right, let's go. What a day of exercising this one is. And this one is pretty steep also and we have to climb back up again. Uh, we might regret doing this, hopefully not. <laughs> they are having their prayers right now, I think. So you can see a lot of people dressed in white over there. Like you can see them walking down. And they are walking all towards the Pura to pray. So this is the beach. The sand is not as soft as we hope, but still doable, still enjoyable. Bye Pantai Atu. Bye bye. See you again. Alright, time to go and climb all these steps back up again. Woohoo! Ah, uh, made it! <laughs> okay, final glimpse. Ta da! Definitely a tiring day, and this is not the last part of the day. Okay, there's one more stop. Let's go! Last spot for the day, this is called the Thousand Islands. Okay, let's see what's here. Yeah, we were from there just now. Uh, that's Atu Beach, the viewpoint. I was standing there just now in one of the drone shots. And this is the other side. And there's some pondok here where you can stay, I think. Could be an abandoned resort. Very nice! Time for some chill time. Okay, satisfied with everything. Wow, this is a good life. Good life or not, Amalia? Good life. Good life. And uh, the view is good view. Highly recommended. Alright, it's time to go. It's time to call it a day. Whew. This is when you wonder why you went down in the first place. Ah, but it's worth it. I keep telling myself that. <laughs> Amalia, are you okay? I'm okay. Just tired. Yeah. Ah, so they have an Instagram page at Rumah Pohon Molenteng. Oh, I guess that's the official name of this place. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye, Pak. Thank you. Bye bye. Sampai yeah. ketemu besok lagi. Sampai ya. ketemu besok. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Guys, we're staying at Batan Sabo Cottage, which is really, really beautiful. It's actually designed by a designer over here. That's why it looks so artistic and the inside is very rustic. Very, very nice. And there's a few cottages around here. And that's the view of the sea over there. And you can see the sunset from here. Wow! Good morning everyone, welcome to day 2. We're gonna see the other highlight of Nusa Penida and it's gonna be amazing today. Okay, we are a bit late already so let's go! Good morning daddy! Morning! Well yesterday we went to the lesser known sites in Nusa Penida, it's the eastern side. Today we're in the western side. The western side is more well known because a lot of people come here only for just one day. And if it's only one day, you cannot really see the eastern side. You just only go to the western side. So yeah.
So this is Angel's Billabong. There's like a, like a small pool over here. Uh, it's actually quite dangerous to get into that pool because sometimes the waves might come in and bring you out. But today it seems okay. It, it doesn't seem like the wave is too huge. So yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Maybe. Are you? The uh, government put uh, some sign, sign uh -huh. there. <laughs> Our guide mentioned to us that actually two people actually died here because they were swimming around here and then the big waves came in and then swept them off. And wow. coming uh, now with guide. Yeah. They're coming with scooter and they don't know how. Oh, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know the condition of the waves. Oh my goodness. Uh, not gonna go down there, so I think our lives are more important and we have Komodo to wait for. And yeah, so now we're heading to Broken Beach. Whoa! Ta -ta -ta -ta. Guys, welcome to Broken Beach. Broken Beach, can? Broken Bay, broken Bay Bole, Broken Beach Bole. Okay, two names. Okay, there's a hole in the middle there, created by natural waves, definitely. Very beautiful, and look, check out how blue the water is. Look at that, guys. What? That's it from Broken Beach and Angel's Bilabong. We have to hurry to the next attraction because that's the one that's most popular. So yeah, let's go. Okay, this is definitely going to be the climax of this trip. Okay, you're going to see that in a while. So many people over there. Uh, Pak Gadek says there's a hidden spot. Less people, so we're going to go there. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing and there's nobody here. This is the perfect spot to take this photo and there's a pristine beach down there If you want to climb down, it's actually very very long and very very difficult But a few people actually did it like we can see people swimming at the bottom of the sea I mean swimming at the bottom of the beach. Why am I saying? Are you looking for your drone? Yeah oh, oh, just now I saw a drone that came by here yeah. and then it was hovering around here and then it disappeared yeah, it crashes now, there. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, some guy lost his drone. I could have lost my drone just now as well because I couldn't see it anymore. Uh, thankfully, uh, it managed to come back to me. Huh, quite scary to fly around here because the wind is pretty strong. Welcome to Crystal Bay everyone and we're gonna go for our vitamin C. The water is blue, it's beautiful and the sand is really soft unlike Atu Beach. So I guess this is it. This is our vitamin C and we're gonna jump in. Woohoo! Yeah, I got my well-deserved vitamin C and now it's time to head back to Bali. Alright, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right now. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you love my content. And don't forget me!